we are in the new Nissan Leaf, uh, 40 kilowatt hour, and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate now what happens when you don't touch the steering wheel while you are using Pro Pilot. So, um, see now, right now, let me see, adjust here a bit. Okay, Pro Pilot is active right now. Uh, then it gives him warning. Let me just. All right, all right. Now I'm just gonna let it. Let's do its thing. So uh, I'm not gonna touch the steering wheel. First, you get a warning. And then you get some beep, and then soon it will do uh, a little like it will try to wake me up and break hard. There's a the break. Still keep going. Break, break several times. And um, yeah. So I need another spot where I can um, actually I. I res I touched the steering wheel, so it kind of resumed, you know? It's like, let's say I was sleeping, and then I woke up and I touched the steering wheel, and then everything is alright, yeah. It doesn't like punish you and say, you didn't touch the steering wheel, so no soup for you! No, it will just do that, but um, it's a little bit risky to, to, to mess around too much with it now. I, I need, this is not the right time and place, so I need a place where it's completely empty. Uh, the, the problem is that the Pro Pilot is, uh, is has been designed for motorway. Um, so it doesn't like work on regular highways. Uh, well, I can try, but um, still, I have to find a place which is uh, very empty, and it's not that easy around here because this is where well, we are at the Tenerife. So um, it's kind of crowded here. Yeah, I have to try to this uh, again in Norway. But at least I showed you in, in the beginning what what kind of like procedure the car does to try to wake you up, yeah, <laughs> or get your attention. So uh, yes, uh, more tests later. We are in the middle of nowhere in Norway, and uh, I'm gonna show you what happens if you don't touch the steering wheel when the autopilot uh, start bugging you. So this is a Tesla Model X P90D Ludicrous. Uh, autopilot is engaged right now, and uh, I'm not holding the steering wheel. So I'm just gonna wait until it starts bugging me, and then I'll show you what happens. Now, this has been done before, but uh, at least I'll make a video, and I will use this as a reference when I test other systems. So there will be a beep soon. There. Right. Still bugs you, and I don't... If I touch the steering wheel, everything will be okay, and it will just keep going. So uh, now we have been punished. <laughs> we didn't do as the car told us, and then um, now we don't have all the steer for the rest of the drive. So the only way to enable all the steer again is to uh, ask for forgiveness. I'll show you. Uh, just to uh, slow down, to a complete stop, like this. All right, and then put the car in park. Okay, and then. Start driving, we should be able to use more steering again. Yeah, so uh, yes, that's the way to ask for forgiveness. But um, yes, so uh, anyway, that's that's how the, the Tesla autopilot works when it comes to you know uh, when it, it doesn't get any uh, feedback from the user. Yeah, so um, that's it for now then. 